Hi, so welcome to AFD Arts. Uh, I'm just going to show you um, a quick tutorial on how to make one of these. So it's a like a sort of, it's a cyborg, two minute, style sort of piece, uh, and it's very simple to make, very cheap to make, and as you can see, it's quite effective. Um, and it does stick to your face as well. So uh, there will be another edition as well showing you how to make this with LED light, but for now we're just going to go with a simpler version. Okay, so if you're a beginner looking to make a cyborg mask, this is the video for you. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with some basic materials that we need. Uh, the tools we're going to need first will be uh, acrylic paints, preferably. And a paintbrush. If you haven't got these, don't worry, you can use a marker pen instead. Um, red and black, preferably. Um, and you'll need a pen or something to mark out stuff with. You'll need some glue, either a glue gun or you'll need uh, some PVA of some sort. It doesn't have to be dead strong, stuff like this. It can be just something simple. Or you could use uh, I don't recommend super glue because it's going to get near your face, but if you are brave enough, that's up to you. It can be quite dangerous, though, so let's tell you your risk. But uh, the other thing you'll need for material wise would be basically this. And we're not even going to use these, so you can save these. All we need is one lid because it's got reflective and it's made of card. Okay, so the reflective side is where it's going to look like our metal. So, what we're going to do is fold this in half. And then uh, once we fold it in half, we're going to put it up to our face. We're going to basically decide sort of where you want it on your face, how much you want uh, of the metal showing. Mark out the areas like the eyes and things, so like your eye socket, just roughly, it doesn't have to be neat. And then uh, mark out where it'll fit around your nose and things like that. And then once you've done that, uh, we're going to. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big crease, it can just be a little crease like that, just to make sure that it's folded sort of on the side of your face. We're going to take our scissors, sorry I forgot to mention when you need scissors, and we're going to start cutting the eyepiece, just like so. And then after that we'll cut a small hole at the side where the nose goes, so you'll end up with something like that, so it'll fit there. After we've done that, we're going to cut some detailing. And to do this, I'm just going to sort of decide a sort of shape you want to do around this. I'm going to go for sort of a shape like this. And it's a rough shape to start with. You can get more intricate as it goes on. So the rougher you are, sometimes the better you are. So something like that. So that's the entire area that I'm going to have sort of looking like the metal's protruding from my skin. Okay, so to achieve that effect, what we're going to do is in using the cart and the scissors we're going to just roughly just hack into it around the edges you can see that so it's like this okay and then we'll do it all the way around once we've done that all the way around we'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this so this is when it's a little bit more hacked in and it's I've got sort of really messed around with it to make sure it fits nice and snug against my face. So it fits and snug against my nose there. Fits in nicely around the eyebrow. You can see it follows the cheekbone around to achieve that sort of uh, robotic eye socket look. And then there's just where my ear is as well. Okay. So once we've got it to this stage, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start hacking a little bit more around the edges. And as we do hack around the edges, we're going to take those bits where we've hacked and we're going to bend them up and around, squish them a bit. It doesn't have to be neat. And we're going to do it all the way around the edging. And once that's done, we'll end up with something like this. Okay? So it'll look a little bit like that all around the edging. Okay? And then there. Uh, you can go over that with a glue gun if you want to just have a little bit more effect. 
um, or you could use PVA as I say, a little bit of blue roll or something like that to give it more of a sort of uh, textured effect. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll end up with something uh, that looks like that, and then we're going to yeah, it looks like that, and we're going to uh, make the eyepiece that's going to go in this socket here. So first of all, we need to cut a piece of card like this. It's off the excess, so it's not too much trouble. And that's going to go in over the eye like that, but under the mask. And then we're going to get another excess piece. It doesn't matter really what it looks like. And we're going to make a conical, like a cone shape sort of thing. So we can make it like a cone like that. Okay, and once it's like that, we're going to glue it. And once it's glued, we're going to cut just the edge, okay, and I'll show you what this looks like. You can do this before it's glued if you want, so I can show you now exactly how it will look once it's cut. So it looks something like that, okay. What this piece is going to do, it's going to go onto the card like that, and it's going to be like the eye, okay. So when that's in place, it will look a little something and it's glued into here. It'll look a little something like this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So that's where that little piece goes. And what we're going to put in there is we're either going to put, cut a little circle out of the foil and put that in. Or if you want to use a button or what I'm going to use is a little embellishment like this, so it could be like a sequin type thing or anything like that. And I'm going to take one of these and put it in the hole when it's done, but I'm not going to do that until I've painted everything, because it's going to be a pain to paint around it in the inside of the hole, okay? So what I'm going to do is once it's all done, uh, I'll stick it in, I'll see it look like that, but like first we're going to paint it, so we're going to use, use dry brushing, we're going to use coats first, we're going to go around this in a dark sort of blue or black, yeah, all around the edges where it's all frayed, and then we're going to highlight that with our brush in sort of reds, and we're going to mix it with white, and then make like a, a nice sort of pinky fleshy colour like white skin when skin's cut. So when it when it's finished it'll look something like this. Okay, so all the edges all look something like that. And you can go over in detail with hot glue if you've got it. Okay. And it'll look something like that. And then we can put a little sequin in which will make the eye. Okay. And then to get it to stick to our face, one thing I forgot to mention that we would have needed would be some sort of tape. I'm using here uh, medical tape because obviously that's supposed to go on your skin, but you could use band-aids, anything. This was this was a pound and pound shop, so it's not expensive at all. Uh, you could use try and use cellar tape or masking tape, but it won't stick as well as this is see-through as well, so it's a little bit better with it being transparent. But all we're going to do with this is when we find the end, which is obviously the trickiest part. <laughs> Tear a piece off. Scissors, if you can, and then you'll need another piece around the same length. So I'm getting a bit stuck to me here. Let that drop. And then once we've got two pieces that are near the same length, we're going to take one piece and we're going to cut it down the middle. Okay, this should tear down the middle now. Cut it. There we go. So it tears. And this piece, the sticky side, we're going to face towards us, and the other two pieces, sticky side, we're going to face away. So we're sticking them just on the edges like that, either side, same on the other one. And this way it creates a double sides type of effect. And on the back of the mask, we're then going to put it on an area so that part of the sticky is facing outwards, it covers that area so that it'll stick to our face. And once we've done that all around the areas of the mask, we'll end up, something, we'll end up with it all around the back like that. I'm just going to take this, and it should, if I press it down enough, stick to my face like that. 
And there we go. We now have a cyborg creation that we can use to scare people with. Ow! Thank you very much. I've been Adam Dati at AFD Arts. Ah.